Hey guys and welcome to the trophy guide for the Spyro Ripto's Rage playthrough. These have roughly been done in the order you will come across them as you play through the game and it should help you find any trophies you may be missing. If it does, drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Without further ado, let's get to it. Hypersonic. Light 6 gem lamps in 15 seconds. The timer starts from when you hit the first lamp. As long as you carry on the loop and get all six lamps in one go, you'll get this trophy, no problem. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Well, you might as well. Complete Hunter's Challenge. Hi Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. So this is a tutorial for this game. Just complete everything Hunter tells you to. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. This is the most commonly acquired trophy out of a lot of them. Nice job! Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. But even so, only 47.8% of people actually pick this one up. Which seems a bit strange for a tutorial. Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Once you've spoken to Hunter after this part of the challenge, you'll receive the trophy. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Using your head, charge a goat in Colossus. Done. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Bad sushi. Do not feed the hungry idol any red fish. Feeding him a red fish automatically fails this challenge. So essentially the trophy is for completing the challenge. The best way to do that is to angle the camera like I have so you can see what fish is coming up next. That way it's not a guessing game or you know, you're not reacting last minute and giving a red fish from the state. You can see what's coming, you've got plenty of time to flame the fish and feed the idol. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Exterminate. Defeat every robot in Harakos. You gotta pretty much do this as you go through the level. Here's some examples of me uh, taking out robots, you charge through them. And once you've taken out the last one, you receive the trophy. friends will make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. 
Rescued. Headbutt every turtle in the Turtle Soup Challenges. Again, it's another one of those where you've got to complete the challenge, and you do this by charging into the turtles and send them into the water. Once you've rescued every single turtle, you will receive the trophy for your efforts. Got ahead to the end of the second challenge here, just so you can see me receiving the trophy. Rats! You saved every turtle on the beach! Here, take this. I was going to use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Takes a while to come through, but when it does, you'll know. Lockjaw. Destroy every Robo Shark. You'll be doing this in Aquaria Towers, and the way to do it, if you haven't got the Super Flame power up from the end game, is to use the power up provided in the level and swim your way towards the sharks. You'll find them by the submarine section, which is where I am right now. Okay, you'll find uh, several in here. And you will find the remaining sharks just through here. Down this tunnel. Once you come up at the other end, you'll see a little section off to the right. Some in there, and you'll see four final sharks to take care of. Once you've taken out those, you'll get the trophy for defeating every one of the robotic sharks. Warm up the crowd. Heat up the audience. Essentially fly over to here, which is where you find Queen Finny, and just take out every member of this audience except for the Queen. And you get a trophy for doing so. Conservationist 1. Complete Crush's dungeon without hitting any fodder. Basically, don't hit any sheep while you're doing the boss battle, and you get a trophy. Having not done that. Long Distance. Complete the long glide to the orb in Autumn Plains. For this, you have to ascend the castle, which you can do via a hole in the wall near Shady Oasis. You'll, you'll see it stand out, trust me. Uh, from there, there's more gems on the roof you can pick up, and once you're there, you, uh, take the whirlwind up. And then from there, as you just saw me do, glide across this orb, and you get a trophy for having completed that. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclids. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. You think you can get rid of them for us? Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Bug Control. Defeat all Draclets in one super flight. I'm not entirely sure what it means by super flight, since I landed here. But uh, it seems you get the achievement just for taking them all out. Because even once I've actually gone around in the whole lap, uh, still don't actually do uh, respawn, so uh, you get the trophy I believe just for completing the challenge but your best bet is to do so whilst gliding the whole time and also do it in one lap. saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Unburnt. Don't touch the lava in Skelos Badlands. 
In other words, uh, do not fall into any pit of lava. Although I did also tell this to mean don't get burnt by any of the enemies during the level. I did this uh, post playthrough. So I can just run through the level here. And yeah, I did everything I can to avoid being touched by any of the enemies. Nice little maneuver there by me. And I made sure I got through to the end without falling into the lava, without getting burnt. And as soon as I went through the portal at the end here, I got the trophy. Although I do believe talking to the shaman also gives you the trophy. Trouble no more. Do a clean run in the trolley. In other words, once again, just complete the challenge that's laid in front of you. In this case, it's collecting the gears in Breeze Harbor. And actually, change track speeds in the analog sticks. And uh, be careful not to move to the left or to the right too soon, because I had some issues during my playthrough uh, where I actually uh, bumped into things thinking I'd already gone past them. I wouldn't manoeuvre until a bit later. Also make sure that when a TNT barrel is put in front of you, you shoot it by pressing circle. And if it's a small box or crate, that you jump over it. If you do that and pick up all the gears in the process, you will have your clean run and you will get the trophy. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. Not cannon. Use a cannon to defeat a TNT thrower in Zephyr. Once you shut down this door here, you will see one directly behind it. So just shoot again, and the trophy is yours. Bird is the word. Flame the pigeons first in Metro Speedway. Well, it sounds pretty straightforward, but I found my instinct is once I've got rid of these pigeons here, the first five, to shoot the bungee jumpers as they drop down because you want to get through as quick as possible. But uh, fight that urge if you do have it, and just continue flaming the pigeons, or using the super flamers I'm doing here, because I did this post playthrough again. Take the pigeons out first, and you get the trophy upon hitting the last pigeon. My last flag so easily, purple beast. Duck and cover. Don't get hit by Bob. You'll find Bob in level Scorch, and this is part of one of the hardest old challenges in the game, uh, according to Insomniac at the time. Uh, you have to do this three times uh, for three different flags. I'm only showing you the last one here that I did during my run of the game. And yeah, he's going to keep throwing uh, balls of energy, or potentially bombs at you. And as long as you don't get hit by any of them as you make your way back, in other words, don't fail the challenge, because it's a single hit. It's also a challenge fail. Make it back to the uh, top of this uh, tower here, these steps here. And once you've done that uh, three times, you get the trophy. I'm getting a little bit slow here because you know, I don't want to fail the challenge. I actually didn't know at the time it was going to be for a trophy. There we go. Great job, Agent Spyro. How can we repay you for your efforts? How about this orb? Giant Slayer. Defeat every Earth Shaper in Fracture Hills. Once again, doing this uh, post game. 
I have the super flame power up, which means I don't have to charge them into the lava anymore. Which makes doing this trophy a lot easier. I can just point and shoot from long distance and take them out quite easily. I'll take out the ones in the uh, beginning section here, and then another one here I forgot to take out earlier on. And we're far into the level when there's more uh, in this uh, pit down here. This is where you'll find all the earth shapers, they're all in uh, some sort of enclosed space uh, below the main level. Again, with the super flame you can just point and shoot. This is the final section you'll find them in. This is where you do the hunter and alchemist challenges. And I'm actually intrigued to see what happens if you shoot them all out first and then do the challenge with the hunter because... Actually, I'm going to investigate that, actually. In the meantime, I'll finish taking out the earth shapers here. Last one. The trophy is mine. That could also be yours too. Ganked. Still a popcorn crystal from Hunter. When Hunter goes to grab a crystal in this challenge in Magma Cone, make sure you jump up and grab it before he does, and you will get the trophy. Dry foot. Don't touch the hazardous water in Shady Oasis. A bit like in Skelos Badlands with lava, do not touch any of the green water you will find around the level. In other words, when you come across a pit like this, make sure you jump over it. Do not jump into it. Again, when you get to a pit like this, do not jump into it, jump over it. Or in this case, glide over it. Make it to the end of the level without jumping in any of these pits, and you will get the trophy. So well, I was actually fine when I got the trophy in my playthrough, but eventually I did find it. And I found it by accident, because I had to talk to this hippo at the end, and that's what activated it. Because essentially then you've completed the level. Talk to the hippo at the end and you get the trophy. Flying high! Defeat the snowmobiles before defeating a hang glider. You will do this in icy speedway. And I unfortunately missed that final snowmobile during my run. When I came back later on I still took him out first. And as soon as I flamed one of the gliders, I got the trophy. So, snowmobiles first, followed by the hang gliders. Conservationist 2. Complete Gulp's Overlook without harming fodder. This footage might seem a bit familiar to you if you watched my previous video. That's because I use exact footage when showing the skill points in here. That being to defeat Gulp without taking a hit, and also hit Ripto. But in the case of this, same as with uh, Crush's Dungeon, make sure you take out Gulp uh, without taking out any fodder. And the best way to do this is with the Super Flame Power Up you pick up at the end of the game. Yard work. Head bash every rock in Winter Tundra. Once you pay money bags 1000 gems to learn how to use the head bash, make sure you use it on all these rocks you'll find on the outskirts of the castle. I always try it on the stump in case it did something, but it didn't. Uh, each of these contain a gem anyway, or one of them actually contains an orb, which is this one here. So you're going to need to head bash them if you want to go for 100% and pick everything up in the home world. Uh, but, you know, just make sure you head bash every single one of them you can see. There's a couple more over here, as well as the one blocking the door to the castle. And once you've taken them all out, you will get the trophy. It's going to be a bit later on. Taking out the rock in front of the door. And that's where I get the trophy. Monkeying around. Charge through every monkey in Mystic Marsh. It's one of the more annoying of the trophy challenges because these monkeys throw Wampa Fruit at you. And yes, they are throwing Wampa Fruit. Make sure every time you come across one of these menaces you charge through it. I am showing you uh, where they all are. There's a couple in this one. 
Once you've charged through all of them, you will pick up the trophy. Pepper, pick up the trophy. Sheeples. Don't hit any sheep in Cloud Temples. There aren't many of them. Don't hit them. All's good. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please. Spitball. Defeat every Robo Bee by spitting. That bee, you pick up these, I can only assume, like pieces of robotic corn and spit them at each bee you find throughout the level. There are quite a few of them, but you will find pretty much all of them. In fact, I think you will find all of them on your way through the level. None of them are hiding anywhere. They stand out because of the fact they're hovering. Yeah, make sure you spit at each of them, each and every one of them. Nice little trick shot there. And upon spitting out the last one, the trophy will be yours to keep. Bugging out. Defeat five buggies while charging. Your best bet is to take them all out while charging, but it's the quickest way to do so in Canyon Speedway. To so make sure you charge along the road, uh, preferably towards them because it's even quicker, but once you've gone through five of them, the trophy will be unlocked. RGB. Use all three types of power-ups in Ripto's Arena. Uh, the initials stand for red, green and blue, and that's what you're going to have to use against Ripto if you want to get this trophy. That was me using the greens. I picked this up during the fight, so I could uh, take out most of his health. That's red. And then by chance I managed to grab the final blue orb to complete my set to get the supercharged ability, and that got me the trophy. He's on fire! Unlock the permanent super flame. You get this in Dragon Shores after 100% in the game, and it's the thing I've been recommending to use to pick up other trophies. Speaking of which... Oli Oli Oxen free. Defeat the Ox without taking a hit. I use the super flame to do this very easily, and by doing so I picked up the final trophy, and earned the platinum trophy. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you for watching this trophy guide to Spyro Ripto's Rage, and until next time, I will see you later.